little gems from the Lib Dems party manifesto. You never know what you might find if you look carefully. Take the Lib Dem tax on bank profits. Now look under tax and it's not there. Why? Because it's under savings. I think that's brilliant. After all, taxes are people's savings. It's just that the government spends the money for them. Perhaps the Lib Dems will introduce a whole new fiscal vocabulary. No more taxes, income savings, value-added savings, inheritance savings, capital gains savings. I'm surprised the other parties haven't thought of it. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> this is very good. <laughs> Whoever wrote this is an expert. We could use him in the department. We will reverse the increase in national insurance contributions when resources allow. It shows you have all the right ideas, but since resources will never allow the reversal, you never actually have to do anything. It's a wonderful phrase, when resources allow. It's up there with when the time is ripe. <laughs> ah, the mansion tax. Or should that be the mansion savings? Payable at 1% of the value of any property over £2 million. Well, now that's a reasonable idea. At least, it sounds reasonable. Until you ask the experts about it. The uh, Institute of Fiscal Studies say that it could slash the price of the more expensive houses. Which means that it might bring in much less than they estimate. But the main thing is, it sounds good. One of those Robin Hood taxes. Uh, sorry savings, where you take from the rich and give to the poor. The department has noted the proposal for a mansion tax and has taken it on board. It cannot, of course, be put into effect until we've completed a full survey of property values in England and Wales. And when this is completed, householders liable for the new tax will have to be informed of the revised valuation and be given three months' appeal against it. This will entail, of course, the appointment of an appeals inspectorate and regional valuation appeals tribunals. It should not, however, be a lengthy process. We would hope to have the system up and running within two or three parliaments. Oh, and um, what about this from uh, page 50? Liberal Democrats will help protect children and young people from developing negative body images by regulating the airbrushing of adverts. Well, it takes all sorts to make a government. But how do you stop negative body images from developing? Well, I suppose we could set up the AABRNBIAA, the Advert Airbrushing Regulation and Negative Body Image Abolition Authority. Never let it be said that the civil service can't rise to a challenge.